their Messiah, the one whom they followed for the last three years, is going to resurrect. Indeed, beside all this, today is the third day since these things happened. Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us when they did not find the body. And they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And certain of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, but him they did not see. Then he said to them, Jesus looked at them. They just confessed. The angel said he's alive. The tomb is empty. We verified it. And instead of understanding that this is the most amazing thing ever, they were sad. And that is why Jesus said, oh, foolish ones. He's not saying that to the priest. He's not saying that to the Pharisees. He's not saying that to the rabbis. He's not saying that to the Romans. He's saying that to his own disciples. Oh, foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. You know it, but you don't believe it. And then he said, Ought not the Christ, the Messiah, to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Haven't you read the book of Psalms and the books of the prophets? Haven't you read Isaiah chapter 53? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures. All the scriptures in that time was just the Old Testament. The New Testament was not written yet. He expounded to them in all scriptures the things concerning himself. The gap between the Jewish religion, the Jewish concept of Messiah, and the Bible, the word of God, the scripture, was so big that even his own disciples, who followed him for the last three years, who have seen unbelievable amount of miracles performed by him, who know They've been here. They heard Peter saying, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. He shared with them right here what his end is going to be. His own disciples were so captured in that concept of there's only one Messiah. He's going to come and rule and reign. He's going to bring peace and prosperity. And we will be once again a nation not under any occupation. But they skipped the point. That Messiah first had to come to deal with the sin of Amen. men.